check score, I'm winning. Green light, let's get it. I just win, 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 win. I'm on 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So the first rotoscope effect is going to be the sliding mask clones, but we're going to be using the M Roto AI plugin for this example, which is from Motion VFX, our sponsor for today's video. So a big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. So if you go over to the effects here, I have this install that will make the masking or the rotoscoping of our subjects so much easier. So you can just go over to the M installer. If you use the link in the description, you will get a free trial to the M Roto plugin. And once you've installed it, you're going to have it under here. Duplicate this first. So hold option and, and just drag upwards. So the bottom clip is going to be our background clip. I'm going to name it background. And then this one is going to be our mask. So we're going to drag the Emrodo onto that mask clip, move the playhead at the beginning. I want to select her to be the subject. So I'm going to just paint over her like this. And you can do this to anything in your video. You can do it to people, animals, cars, buildings, really just about anything that can be tracked. And it just makes your tracking so much easier, specifically for masks like this. So let me show you how this works. So you're going to have the brush tool here. So this is the kind of like the magic selection tool using AI or you can use the brush tool and then adjust the brush size. You can make it bigger or make it smaller. And you can kind of paint over your subject if you want to get very precise with your selection. And you have the eraser tool so you can just paint over an area that you don't want. And then the output is merged, which just shows you our actual selection. You do mask only, it shows you what is going to be masked. And then you have the masked video, which is the final output after we track. And then the video just shows you the original video. So I'm going to go over to merge for now. The precision, you can either do fast, accurate, or super fast. I'm going to click on the tracker and you have the track backwards or track forwards. Because we have our playhead at the beginning and it's going to be playing forwards, we want to track forwards. But if your clip was here and say you tracked forwards, all of this has not been tracked. So you would have to track backwards from that point. From this point, we're going to track forwards. So click on this button and you're going to see this. This is in real time, pretty much doing it all for you. Now, like I said, again, you don't have to use this plugin, but I highly recommend it. It just makes your life so much easier. So for the sake of the video, I think we're just gonna go with this. You can see there's some parts where it didn't get selected. You know, you can go frame by frame, you know, and just paint over your subject in areas that it didn't get selected. We're gonna switch the output to mass video, hold option and drag upwards again to duplicate the clip. So now this is gonna be our top clip. We're gonna leave that one alone. And we're gonna be using this as our main clip. So we're gonna go over to the transform, go ahead and add a keyframe at the beginning, or you can wait a little bit and have it start a few frames after. So about here under four frames, add a keyframe, skip a few frames about here under X. I'm gonna drag this to the left, skim through a little bit. And around here, I'm going to add a keyframe. And then towards the end about here, I'm going to just type in zero under X. Now what we can do is duplicate this clip again. So hold option, drag upwards. You're gonna right click on that clip and go to show video animation. On this second keyframe under position, because she's on the left side, we're gonna drag it to the other side. So we're gonna drag it to the right. So just drag this over like that. Then once you're happy where the position is at, copy this number, double click, press command C. Then you're gonna go over to the third keyframe, select it and paste those numbers in here and press enter. So here's our final result. Let's move on to the next rotoscope effect. All right, so here's the second rotoscope effect. It's gonna be the sunglasses mask zoom effect. So you wanna have your clips in the timeline. So here's our first clip and then our second clip. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate the first clip. So hold option and drag upwards, go over to the effects, add the M roto onto that second clip. Go to the beginning, make sure the playhead is at the beginning as well. Select her sunglasses. So we're gonna go over to the selection here. Zoom in if you need to. You can see that this one is a little bit dark in terms of contrast regarding the background as well. I'm gonna track forward. So now if I go back, disable the bottom clip and we switch the output to mass video, you can see her sunglasses are kind of floating, <laughs> which is uh, want to happen. So invert the mask. Let's go ahead and make sure invert mask is checked. So now what we're going to do is drag our second clip here, which is really going to be the first clip. So drag that to the beginning. And now you can see that it's being shown underneath her sunglasses. We want to make sure that the center point is in the middle of wherever we're going to be zooming into. So we're going to go over to the X under anchor and just drag this so that this is in the middle of that area that we're going to zoom into, which is here. So try and get it as close as you can and then click and drag and move this back where it was. So I think that's fine. Now we're going to go over to transform. I'm going to start this off at the very beginning. I'm going to add a keyframe and we're going to just zoom this up all the way and we're going to go to about 15 frames, 100% for scale all. Actually, we're gonna do 102 because uh, we don't want any gaps in their edges. Click done. So now it's gonna look like this. 
Now you're gonna see the edges are kind of okay, so we can adjust the smoothness. So we're gonna increase this. We're gonna shrink this down a little bit and increase the blur so it's a bit of a soft edge like that. We're gonna duplicate this again. So hold Option and drag upwards. With the top clip selected, we're gonna delete the actual MRoto plugin so that there's nothing applied to this clip except our, you know, our transform settings. And we're gonna disable this, so press V for now. And once it stops, which is about, about here, I'm going to split the clip, so press Command B to split the clip and we can go ahead and delete this. So now what we're gonna do is at the very beginning here, we're gonna add a keyframe under opacity at 0%, so add it like that. And then we're gonna go to the end, go one frame to the left so we can see our, our clip and drag this to 100% so that our sunglasses go back to the original video. So it's gonna look something like this. So right here, we're gonna split that clip, so press Command B or use the blade tool by pressing B on the keyboard, make or cut, and you can just get rid of it so it'll look kind of like that. Select the, the main clip that's showing and we're gonna go to transform and we're gonna scale this up a little bit, add a keyframe and go towards the end. And now we're gonna just kind of zoom this down a little bit. It just makes it more interesting, I should say, rather than it just being a static clip. That's pretty much the effect. Let's move on to the next one. And this one's really cool. So this is gonna be a smooth roto zoom. So you could do this to any clip. All right, so we have the first clip here and our second clip like this. So we're gonna drag this one here, hold option, drag upwards, duplicate the clip. And what you're gonna do is go over to the effects, go to the MRoto AI, add that onto that top clip, make your selection just like this. You might have to do a little bit more if there's a, a big area like this. Try and get it as close as you can. You can use the manual brush tool for this one. This would be a great example showing you how much quicker this one is. In this case, this is where the main brush would be much easier to use. Click on the tracker button, hit the track forwards. So now I'm gonna go over to the inspector window. I'm gonna switch this to masked video. You can see it's masked. Part of it was not masked. So I'm gonna go kind of skim through right here. It didn't select it. I'm gonna select the manual brush tool and paint over that because that was not selected. There you go, perfect. So now you can see our result. So we're gonna increase the smoothness to make it a little bit smoother on the edges and increase the blur because I do wanna make it a nice soft edge. So maybe here, I want to then start the effects. I'm gonna press Command B to split the clip and I'm gonna turn off the Mroto and you're gonna see it's gonna start it right away. We're gonna select the clip. I'm gonna to go to Transform, click on this down arrow and go to Crop, go to Ken Burns. We wanna start this the other way. So go ahead and click on this to invert the mask. So we're gonna start this off here. Actually, let's do it this way. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, yeah, that looks way better. So it's gonna look like this. We can make this more interesting. So I'm gonna hold Option, drag upwards again to duplicate the clip, delete the plugin, go to Opacity and bring this to 100 at a keyframe. Uh, we're gonna skip a couple of frames. I'm not gonna go a little bit more actually about here and then reveal it. So it's gonna look something like this. You could extend this out more. So maybe kind of like this. And then the main clip will just continue playing, right? So it'll look kind of, like, kind of like this. So you can do that to any clips and it's really that simple. So let's move on to the next effect. This is gonna be the empty hole roto reveal. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, if you could hit the like button, that'd be awesome. All right, so here's our clip. We're actually only be using one clip for this one. What you wanna do is I'm gonna split it around under two thirds of it, duplicate the first half. So hold option, just drag upwards. Go to the effects, add the M Roto, and I'm going to track her. So I'm just gonna do a quick selection. So I'm gonna go over to the tracker and I'm going to, I'm gonna track forwards. Okay, just finished tracking. So I'm gonna go over to the output and switch this to mass video. Again, you can't see anything. So just see with the bottom clip. You can see the edges are, they're pretty good, but I'm gonna increase the smoothness and the blur again a little bit. So we're gonna duplicate this clip one more time. So there's three clips. So I'm gonna invert the second clip. So invert that mask and then disable the bottom clip. So now only the middle clip here is being shown. Because you can see a bit of the edges, we're actually gonna increase the uh, selection. So we're gonna increase it so we can't see the edges. And now we're gonna re-enable the top clip, but we don't want it to start obviously in the beginning. So it's gonna kind of come in like this. You can also make it flash too, if you kind of make cuts every other frame. But I think for this, I want it to come in. So. I'm gonna go to transform. I'm going to zoom out to 25 and I'm gonna move this out kind of like this. Okay, and I'm going to add a keyframe. I'm going to the end of that clip, just one frame to the left though, and go to X, type in zero, zero for Y, zero for rotation and press enter. It's gonna look kind of like this. It comes in fast because there's only a few frames. Right click and go to new compounds clip. I'm gonna name this girl. 
go to the effects and go to blur and we're going to add a directional blur. Um, this makes it so much smoother in my opinion. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to add a keyframe about there. And once it stops, I'm going to type in zero for amount. So now it looks much smoother. So here's our result. And you can do this as many times as you want. So you could duplicate this again and again uh, to get a kind of a different look. Let's move on to the next rotoscope. So this one's going to be one of my favorite ones from this video, and it's going to be the glowing tattoos. So you can do glowing tattoos from, you know, someone's body or whatever. It doesn't have to be tattoos. You could even do logos or something like that. So just like before, we always start with a duplicate. So hold option, drag it upwards, go to the effects, go to the Mroto AI and add that onto the clip. There has to be some contrast so that it can actually pick up the tattoo. And I'm going to select his tattoo as much as I can. And it does a pretty good job of, of doing this. So I'm going to do something like that. I'm going to the tracker. I'm going to track forwards, go over to the inspector window and switch this to mass video. If I disable the bottom clip, you can actually see our selection. Um, what you can do is duplicate this clip. And then with the middle clip selected, go over to the color selection here. And we're going to add another, another one. So add color board one, increase the exposure under highlights. So we're going to actually just increase this all the way. And we're going to go over to the effects, go to blur and add a Gaussian blur onto that second clip. Now you have this nice kind of glowing effect. So I'm going to decrease the Gaussian a little bit, kind of like that. And if you want to change the color, go to color and change the highlights or the global to something else and increase the saturation. And you can do something like this. And if you want to, you can also go to distortion. So under distortion, just add the underwater effect you Can increase the size or make it smaller. And you have this really cool looking uh, tattoo and you can make this one glow as well. So let's move on to the next rotoscope. So here's another one of my favorites, and that's going to be the falling video mask. You can use what's called a clean plate. It's pretty much like a the same shot, but without your subject. All right, so here's our clip that we're going to be working with. So here's our first one and our second clip. We're going to hold option F to hold the frame. So now this is a still image. We can delete this for the first maybe five frames. So one, two, three, four, five. The first five frames, I'm gonna press Command B and I'm going to go to the beginning. I'm gonna go to transform. I'm gonna add a keyframe and I'm gonna go over to the end. Go one frame to the left and go to transform and move the Y uh, axis all the way down. You can also uh, use a rotation too. You can get really creative with this, but you know, that's up to you. This looks fine. I think this is a little bit too fast. So I'm gonna make this one frame longer like that. That's perfect. What I'm gonna do is hold option and I'm gonna name this frame drop or something. Add a blur, so go to effects, go to blur and add the directional blur onto this. And then we're gonna move this down. So it kind of looks like this. And we're gonna drag that underneath. So now it's gonna look like this. So we're gonna go over to the uh, effects, go to M Roto AI and add that onto that clip. And we're gonna, again, make our selection of her and I'm gonna go to tracker and I'm gonna track forwards and you can see it's tracked forwards. So now I'm gonna switch the output to masked video. So now you can see this bottom clip is really not the original. So here's the original clip and this is without the original. But we wanna make sure that the edges are nice and smooth, kind of like this. What we're gonna do is drag her above um, and we're gonna kind of delete this for now, but we kind of want her to kind of warp in, if that makes sense. So we're going to go down to the distortion and we're going to add the underwater effect. She's going to look <laughs> a little bit strange, but the size we want to, we want to start this around, I don't know, about here, refraction, leave that there. And then we're going to add a keyframe under all of these at the beginning. And we're going to skip a few frames, maybe three, and then bring the size to 10 and then speed. We're going to leave that, I guess. And then refraction, we're going to bring this to zero. So it kind of goes like this. Like she kind of warps in a little bit and then goes back to the normal video like this. But yeah, let's move on to the next rotoscope. So this one is actually really simple. You could take a really boring shot and make it more interesting by just doing the simple rotoscope reveal like this and then it reveals the next shot. All right, so here's what you do. So you have the first clip here and then our second clip. So we want to rotoscope him from the second shot. So what we can do is duplicate this clip and go over to the effects, go to the Mroto AI and add that onto the clip. And then you're gonna go ahead and mask him out. So just make your selection. And I'm gonna go over to the tracker. I'm gonna track forwards drag him over here and I'm gonna drag this one under like that. So it's gonna play through but I don't want this shot to come in yet. So I'm gonna switch this to masked video. So then it'll look like this, extend this out. 
because I want it to play through. So I'm gonna enable this clip now. At the beginning of this second clip, we're gonna bring the opacity to zero and add a keyframe. And you're gonna go all the way to the end, maybe halfway actually, and then increase the opacity. So it's gonna look something like this. If you think that's too fast, just you know extend this out further and you have a really cool shot like this. I think I'm gonna extend this out all the way. So now it's gonna look just like this. And for some reason there's a flash, that's because it's still masked out. So we can just press Command B and then delete the Amroto. So now it'll just continuously play through. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. With that being said, I'll catch you guys next time.